How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download, install and use the brand new NVIDIA app. The brand new NVIDIA app is aiming to replace both the NVIDIA control panel and NVIDIA's GeForce experience into one unified app. It just launched today, it's super lightweight, simple and easy to use and in this video I'll be showing you how to download it, install it to your system, use a couple of the settings, stop paying full price for Windows today and get activated from as little as $16 using WhoKeys. Use the links in the description down below, choose from Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office keys, add to checkout, use code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off your order and to help support the channel, pay via a secure payment method including PayPal, once purchased your key will be available immediately, head over to activate Windows, paste the key, will then have access to all Windows features and no more watermark. The Windows 10 keys will also allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description down below and a massive thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. It's also worth noting that this is very much still in beta. Some of the more advanced settings and features from the control panel haven't yet Yet made it over to the app yet but they will be coming in the future. I'll personally be using this on all of my systems and providing feedback. First of all head over to Google and search for Nvidia app. You should then be brought over to nvidia.com where you can then find the app. Alternatively if you can't find the correct URL you can go to nvidia.com slash en dash us slash software slash nvidia dash app. Once you're on this web page all you then need to do is scroll down to the Nvidia app, download beta. Whilst the application downloads to your system take a few minutes to have a look through the release page for this, have a look at some of the new features which are available. You can also get an insight to the brand new HUD and some of the features you may not have been aware of that were already available with inside of GeForce Experience or the new application. Once the download has been completed, select Open File. The launcher should open. Choose if you wish to agree and continue and select Agree and Continue if you do. The NVIDIA app will then begin to install to your system. Once completed, the NVIDIA app will typically automatically open itself up, but if it doesn't, head over to the desktop or take yourself to the bottom left hand side and search for NVIDIA. The brand new NVIDIA app will show up as just NVIDIA. The first page you'll be met with will be deciding whether or not you want to go with the game ready drivers or the Nvidia Studio drivers. Both options are worthwhile depending on what your system is primarily used for. Studio drivers are tailored towards reliability and stability with inside creative applications. They feature all of the same game improvements and optimizations as the game ready drivers do so you'll get the same performance but they may not release as often. Select the driver suite you wish to go with and select next. Next up is to optimize games and creative applications. Nvidia will apply automatic profiles and settings so decide whether or not you wish to have Nvidia do this for you automatically or not. By using the flicker switch at the top. Then select next. I would definitely recommend choosing to enable the brand new NVIDIA overlay. This will also notify you of the brand new hotkey that you'll need to press with inside of your games to open up the overlay. Defaultly, this is typically set to Alt and Z. You'll then be brought over to the Redeem Exclusive Rewards section. This is the only section of the NVIDIA app that you will need to log into. Everything else, including shadow play and recordings, will no longer require you to be logged in as you typically would with the GeForce experience, which in my opinion is the biggest improvement to this whole thing. For me, I'm going to select skip, but you may wish to log in. You are now up and running on the brand new NVIDIA app. For an extremely brief overview of some of the new settings and panels, first of all we have the home screen which shows you some of the latest titles and optimizations available. The discover section is where you can find all NVIDIA applications and tools in which you can utilize to get more out of your GPU or NVIDIA software suite. Heading down to the driver section, this is where you can automatically install and update your GPU drivers with inside of the app. In the top right hand side you can always change between a game ready and studio driver at any time. Go to the top right to refresh, it will then let you know if any updates are available where you can automatically download and have the application install them for you. It's also handy to see a list of the fixes and change log for the driver you're going to be downloading by scrolling down. Next up is the graphics tab. Here we have the program settings which are the per game settings and global settings. This is your first look at the brand new NVIDIA control panel section. Here we have RTX dynamic vibrance which is similar to the digital vibrance section we had in the previous control panel but this helps to avoid color crushing which could actually provide a much better experience using the AI model. We have the brand new RTX HDR feature which is phenomenal and I do have a full video coming on this later on. You have your DSR factor settings, Nvidia image scaling, low latency modes, max frame rate, power management modes, shader cache size, vertical refresh. If you wanted to adjust any settings on a per game basis, head over to program settings, select the game you wish to go with. At the top you can automatically choose to use the Nvidia optimized settings or you can tailor this further towards the performance or quality at the top. We will then also be able to navigate down slightly further to the driver settings where you can then change your per game settings of the global driver settings we were changing earlier. So if you only wanted dynamic vibrance on for this game, well you can turn it on, select apply. If you wanted to set a max frame rate cap for a specific game, 
turn it on just for this game and set your frame rate cap. It's extremely handy and super easy to use. Next up is the redeem section. This is where you'll find all of your Nvidia promotions, typically with free games that come bundled with Nvidia products. And last but not least, we have the settings section. Here's where you can see a basic rundown of your system specs if you ever need to share them with somebody. You also have options to enable or disable the Nvidia overlay, game filters, modes. Beyond this, the only other options which are currently available with inside of the app are all accessed through the Nvidia overlay. Once you've booted into one of your favorite games you'd like to test the new overlay on, simply press Alt and Z on your keyboard. Now, if this doesn't automatically open up, you may have to restart your system if it hasn't been restarted since installing the application. This is the brand new Nvidia overlay as it is currently. Here you have all of the features in which you've come to recognize in a much nicer and more convenient package. Now it opens up on the left-hand side. It doesn't take up the whole screen and thankfully it no longer requires you to log in. To access the new shadow play recording features in the overlay, you have the options for record, instant replay, and screenshot. If you want to further adjust the settings for these features, navigate to the top right-hand side to settings, then navigate down to video capture. Here you can set different modes of quality, medium, low, or custom, set the resolution you wish to record in. If your GPU now supports it, there is 120 FPS recording features, and you can max out your bitrate all the way up to 250 Mbps. If you wish to access the brand new Nvidia overlay, so you no longer have to use things like MSI's Afterburner or RTSS, navigate down to the bottom where it says statistics, select show statistics in heads up display. To toggle this on and off, it's Alt and R on the keyboard. Navigate down, set the statistics view to one of the presets or over to custom, but you can then select all of the metrics which you wish to have displayed in your on-screen overlay. If you wish to change the position of this, all you need to do is navigate over to the configure button where you can change the vertical and horizontal positions of the overlay alongside the overlays for other features built into the brand new driver. Whilst you're inside of the Nvidia overlay, don't forget to check out the amazing game filter option which is available in basically all games. Find one or many of the available filters you would like to try out select plus on the filter to add it to your game. Go to the top to the drop down menu for the filter you've just added, but you can then instantly adjust all of the available options for each filter. And that's it for the brand new Nvidia app. You should now have this installed and fully up and running on your system. If you're looking for further settings or optimizations for the app to ensure that you get the most out of it for your system, make sure that you do stay tuned to the channel because there will be optimization guides coming for the new app. Also, let me know of your general thoughts on the brand new Nvidia app in the comments down below or what sort of features you'd like to see come to this and your general overall usage. If you do enjoy content like this, consider checking out the entire optimization playlist section in the description down below. Or if you're not entirely sure where to go next, check out one of the two videos on screen and I'll see you guys over there.